time to check in with Wilson, find out what trouble he's finding. And here I thought you were just smiling at me so big. Wilson, it must have been you. That's why she was smiling so big. Good morning, brother. Hey, I did get used to it, man. Get used to it. Hey, Wilson's <laughs> roller hanging out this morning. We're at Atherton Market over here in South End. Uh, if you were just tuning in, this is Alan. Alan has written a book, okay? He rode that motorcycle around the world and has collected stories and pictures and recipes and each recipe kind of has a story we got Rochelle here with us from a Queen City pantry uh, what now this is kind of a neat story what, what are we looking at here well we're looking at Syria in the Middle East and uh, after convincing them which took a little bit of work to let me into the country the government there I had to stop and fill up the gas fill up the gas tank yep. of that motorcycle and after filling up the gas tank the owner of the gas station says oh mr. Allen mr. Allen you must come here you're very hungry it's a long ride to yep. Damascus yeah. well I'm, I'm telling you I walk into this greasy gas station old used oil cans around and sitting on the center of this metal desk with two other men who didn't speak any English is this plate of salad it's a fatouche salad it is the uh, recipe that I've chosen uh, to yeah. represent Syria in forks my book and it is just full of fresh ingredients, local from Syria. And I'm here today with Rochelle from Queen City Pantry here at Atherton Market to actually recreate this salad uh, for, uh, yeah. for, for, for you to see. It's, it's so easy to make. It's so cool. And you went to so many different countries in, in this book. We're going to tell you more about the book. You can come check it out for yourself tomorrow, okay? Autograph session tomorrow right here at Atherton. So, oh my gosh, that's what it's going to look like. This is amazing stuff over here. And we'll, we'll have Rochelle. Rochelle's going to cook this for us, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah Ro Rochelle yeah. and I are going to kind of put this thing together. And, and actually, we're going to make it again tomorrow. Oh, okay. And this is, and how, I mean, flipping through this book, I mean, just amazing pictures, amazing recipes, yeah? It is beautiful. And what's awesome about this recipe is everything in it can be locally sourced from North Carolina. Ah, really? So we're making something from Syria where he went on that bike and we bought it all into the Charlotte area. Where else are you going to find that good stuff? I'm getting hungry. Great stories, great stuff. And that motorcycle. More on the trip around the world. That's coming up on Wilson's Roller. If you haven't had breakfast, you may want to turn away because <laughs> Wilson is all about the food this morning. Turn away. Okay, Wilson, what do you got for us? <laughs> Turn away. Do not look. Yeah, it's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> Listen, real quick here. Look, speaking of the food over here, look at Rochelle over here. Look at this. Bottom, listen, she's doing some prep work. We're gonna, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about this really cool book, Forks. Okay, Lynn is back here. Uh, we're going to talk more with Alan, talking about this great recipe. Travel around the world on a motorcycle, put recipes in stuff. Uh, cool event coming up with Alan tomorrow night, right? We are having a book signing and a sampling, and he's going to be talking about his book. Um, and who wouldn't be excited about a guy who rode a motorcycle across five continents and he can cook? Yeah, no, I'm serious. And this is going to be a really good thing. So you get the book. He's got the motorcycle. We'll tell you about the motorcycle coming up. Great pictures, great recipes, great stories. We're going to share some of those stories. When is this going down tomorrow? Tomorrow's Tuesday evening from 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon okay. until 7 o'clock in the evening. Okay. So come by after work, you bring the a, kids. And you might even be able to try some food. And you'll be able to try some food. Oh, that's what I'm talking. Okay, so we got that going on tomorrow night. Uh, we've also got other cool events coming up right here at Atherton. Well, if you love ice cream, yes. This Saturday we have the South End Ice Cream Churn Tacular. Oh. Where it's going to be a nice, friendly competition. You can come vote with your spoon. Tasting starts at 11 a.m. <laughs> A few of us on the show, we vote with our spoons every day. Uh, that's pretty cool. And when is that going on Saturday? That again? is Saturday at 11 a.m. And we, you guys have all this stuff listed up on your website and Facebook and we all do. that. We do. Check Facebook, best very, place. Very active on the social media there, as the kids say. Okay, so we got uh, Alan. A couple of other things. Yeah, oh, okay. Wednesday, yes. Every Wednesday morning, um, around 10 or 10.30, we have the Wednesday morning breakfast club. Okay. They're calling it underground, but we're going wide open with it, starting yeah. especially on the 20th. Okay. And then there's also, my very favorite events at the market are Chef Alyssa. Kitchen cooking classes. Yeah, we've had her on the show. They have one coming up that's going to, every course is going to feature something from Lucky Fish Seafood. Okay. And then my favorite one oh boy, is favorite. the Every Guy's Go To. Okay. She's going to teach you how to make a super fabulous dish yeah. that will wow the girl or the guy in your life. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you what they're cooking because I want them to be surprised. Okay. Good stuff. We've had Chef Alyssa on the show quite a few times. She's, she's very cool. I like Chef Alyssa. She's now, awesome. she, she, now she does stuff at another station, though, so she doesn't return my calls. Awkward. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm not kidding. Hey, we got more coming up. Rochelle is here, okay? And Rochelle is with the Queen City Pantry. I'm totally kidding. Alyssa's going to call me in like two seconds when we go off the air. We got great stuff, great food. And what's going on with that motorcycle? Five continents? I'm jealous. More on Wilson's World in just a few.
And we've been having a great morning. I love sharing stories with you like this because he's got a cooler gig than I do, and I love my job. Listen, uh, he's got this book called Forks. He wrote a motorcycle. How many continents? We went through five continents. Five continents you went, and along the way, you were taking pictures and collecting recipes and collecting food. recipes. When we all come together, when we sit down at a table yeah. and eat good food, and there. So I've got 35 different countries represented in this book, and each one is represented by not only recipes, but we got photos and stories about connecting with people and culture. Man, there's people watching this right now, and they're going, "Man, I would love, I would love to do this." I mean, that's a big you thing can. to do. I mean, you get ready for something like this, you hop on a bike, and you just you just go. You just go. You hop on. What I did is I packed up everything I had, yeah. sold everything else, oh, man. and got on that motorcycle and headed south from the Arctic Ocean yeah. all the way to the very bottom of South America, get a place called here. Tierra del Fuego, and then to the Amazon River all the way to South Africa where I followed the Rift Valley and then the route of the Nile River into the Middle East. And what we're going to do here is we're... we're we're going to cook something yeah. here. Rochelle's helping us out. Yeah. Um, a, a salad, a, a Middle Eastern salad. It's called a fatouche, and it was in a dirty gas station that I was invited back by the owner and his friends, and they kept pushing this salad in front of me and says, you need to eat, and it was so fresh and crisp. And what makes it are these ingredients. Wilson, it is absolutely stunning. There's mint, cilantro. We've got red peppers, to, um, tomato. We've got lemon. We're going to make a fresh dressing from scratch using all local ingredients right here in Charlotte. It, it, it is interesting, though, because we do charity things and everything. And one of the things we love doing uh, with some of the groups in town where they, they get dinner tables for families and stuff because that's where the family comes together. That's where guests really come together. And your book really plays into that. The food is amazing, but to connect with so many different people, just had, I mean, it, it's, it's got to be great stories. Yeah, from different cultures. I mean, I traveled to places where most people might say, oh, that's a dangerous Well, Syria, place. you went to Syria before it got crazy, but yes. still, not a lot of people travel to Syria even a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, and, and, and in Sudan, I yeah. traveled through the Nubian Desert oh to Sudan. Gosh, yeah. I mean, Colombia, we're talking places, Zambia, Malawi, Tanzania, oh my Uganda, Rwanda. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. I mean, so the, you, you're going to be here tomorrow night at Atherton Mill Market right here. It gets going about 5 o'clock. You can come by, check out the book, get an autograph of the book, hear some of these great stories, and try some of that food. And try some of the food. And I'm going to be telling some of these stories, yeah. get more in depth. And I've got photos and video. And we'll, we'll share it with anybody who wants to come by. Right, listen, coming up in just a little bit, we're going to talk about that motorcycle over there. I love the food. Rochelle's going to work on the food. We're talking about that bike. What kind of bike do you have that takes you around the world? That's coming up on Wilson's World in just a few. You wrote the book. We're going to talk about the food in just a second. I know some friends of mine are going, man, what kind of bike did he use to go around the world? This is it. This is it. This is a BMW F650 GS Dakar for all you who really want to yeah. know about the bike. It's uh, 650 cc's. It's a single cylinder. So we call it in the industry a thumper. Yeah. Uh, and it's a dual sport because this is not something you're going to ride on just pavement. Yeah, yeah. You got rough roads, dirt. I cross rivers with this. Uh, you went around the world on this bike, man. 62,000 miles across five continents through 35 countries. You had all your gear on this, riding around. Great stories in the book. We're going to tell you more about the book. Man, there's so many people that would love to do something like this. Just go out and have an adventure. Somebody right now, they're going, man, I'd love to. How do you get them over that hump? What would you say to somebody going, man, I want to do this? I mean, what made you go over that edge and just say, I'm doing it? I'm just, well, you know what it is, is I had a lot of changes in my life. I uh, was out of a job, yeah. unemployed. And I just recently been divorced, yeah. and I thought now this is the time where I'm gonna just follow my passion, yeah. which is photography, writing, food, motorcycles, and pursue my dream. I always wanted to travel the world. So yeah. imagine, imagine seeing the world from the seat of a motorcycle, Gosh. not not passing through no. airports. You're no. crossing borders on land. Yo. What was the most? We're, I wanna, we don't have enough time right now, but there had to be some moments there where going, you go across borders and. I mean, there had to be some, a couple of dicey moments. There's definitely dicey moments. You know, it's not just so easy just to show up and say, hey, I want to go through your country. Sometimes you got to do a little bit of negotiation, convincing, and a lot of smiling. Bakshish, as they would call that yeah. in Egypt. Bakshish. But But I, I avoided that. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I had to do to get into Sudan. Okay, listen, we're going to have that. You want to hear more stories. Tomorrow night starts at 5 o'clock. Stories, food, and fun right here at Atherton Mill Market. Come eat, Alan. I'm telling you, I could do a whole hour with just this which is this guy. I'm great. And the food smells amazing, too. More food, more fun.
Cooking with Rochelle over here. If you're just tuning in, a great book about food and travels and pictures and all that. Now, what are we working on again? We're actually starting to make the dressing for this Syrian Fatou salad. It's very simple. It's garlic, olive oil, and lemon juice. And uh, Rochelle's going to go ahead and start mixing it, whisk it, emulsifying it, as we like to now, say. Now, listen, while she's working on that, there's a picture right there that is in this book. That, what is going on in that picture, okay, man? Okay, well, you know, all traveling around the world on a motorcycle is all fun. That is until you get into the Altiplano of Bolivia, yeah. where on a muddy road, unfortunately, the bike slid out from under me. I fell in the mud, and my motorcycle, 400-pound motorcycle and 200 pounds about everything I own I'm carrying, lands on top oh. of me, crushes my leg, oh. breaks it in three pieces. Oh. And that's the picture. You had somebody take the picture. Yeah, absolutely. So you're traveling around the world, and you didn't break your leg. You broke your leg. Yeah, I broke my leg, crushed it, and had to be evacuated out. This was... They had to carry you out. 300 miles from anywhere, they oh had to carry goodness. me out. Listen, yep. uh, he, hear more about that story tomorrow night. Uh, great stories. The big thing, great food over here. Rochelle's cooking this up right now. What is this again? You got this recipe in Syria, right? Okay, so this is a Syrian Fatou salad. Again, I had this in a really dingy, dirty gas station, and who would thought that in a place like that I would have perhaps the oh freshest and most salad? And we're using all local Charlotte ingredients yeah. here. And uh, this is what Rochelle does. She does this here at the uh, Queen City Pantry. How much fun are you having cooking this up? So much fun. Love to see all these ingredients get put together into an amazing dish. Yeah. And the cool thing, it's something from Syria, something you discovered on your travels, and we got all of this stuff from Charlotte. Yeah, we got all of this from Charlotte. We're putting it together, and you're going to try it, Wilson. I want to try yeah, it here. How, how, I only so got like 30 seconds here. Yeah, so we've got uh, cilantro, mint, parsley, yeah. feta cheese. We've got onion, green onions. We've got cucumber, red pepper, tomatoes, and uh, we're going to stir this up right now. We've got actually uh, croutons made from flatbread. That's what they use in Syria. Really? Oh, here it comes okay, right look here. Look at this. Here it comes. It's the speed round. Hang on, just stick with me here. I got to try this here. All the way from Syria using Charlotte ingredients right here. Oh, my, I've never had anything like that in my life. That is really good. Come here tomorrow night, get the book, read the book, meet this guy, great stories. Five o'clock tomorrow, five o'clock tomorrow, five to seven tomorrow, Atherton Mill Market. Dude, thank you, it's so much fun. And listen, I gotta do a show with Rochelle. You cook amazing stuff over here. It's all local. That's Wilson's World. My mouth is full. Back to you guys in the studio. Uh -huh.